Welcome to episode 101, The Ritual of Making Tea. The first thing you will have to do is free your PG tips. So take your ceremonial dagger, prize open the thing that used to exploit monkeys. Oh, I've been on my feet all morning. Make us a cup of PG, love. Yeah, favourite. Take your tea bag, drop it into the cup. Now, this is where the long debate comes in. Some say that you add the milk first, and some say that you pour it after. A conundrum that has plagued man for time. Some say it is to do with Chinese tradition, and some say there is science involved. But, in all honesty, Fuck it, it doesn't really matter, it's a taste thing. What's your preference? What are you gonna do? Me, I fucking hate the milk first. I feel like it's fucking curdled, it tastes wrong. Sometimes it tastes kind of, I don't know. So I say, add your fucking water. Nearly to the top, that's, that's fine. You don't have to add half a cow's fucking insides to this thing, like the TikTok video. No, what you do is just add a nice splash of milk. But the most important thing is taste. So the next part is add sugar. There seems to be this science debate and this argument of Chinese tradition. So we put the milk in first so that we don't crack shit crockery. Well, it was beautiful and finely made, but essentially shit for containing hot liquid. But of course, mugs have come a long way. So we can, we can leave that aside. And if you want to be traditional to the Chinese and our heritage, then you go right ahead. That's up to you. Now, there's a science debate. Quote, tea is better than coffee. It's just one man's opinion. And therefore, as it's in a news report, and people like to cite those as their facts, it's fact, because I don't like coffee very much. I'm not biased. Quote, To test the recipe for the perfect cup of tea put forward in 1946 by George Orwell himself, Dr. Shapley of Lowbury University established that putting the milk in after the boiling water is incorrect, as it causes the milk to heat unevenly, as opposed to pouring the water on top of it. This uneven heating of the milk causes the proteins in it to denature, meaning they lose their structure and clump affecting the taste and contributing to that skin you get on the top. So when someone says they can tell if you put the milk in first or second in the tea you've made for them just by tasting it, turns out they probably can. So that settles it then. Milk before water and tea. End of discussion. Science has spoken. Except it hasn't. As is always the case when you get science involved, it's not that simple. For instance, if the tea bag is in the milk before the water, this will cool the water too quickly, affecting the brewing. So if you make the tea in a pot, fine. If you don't, then that's a whole other issue real world problems. Also, Stapley in his study said that denature of milk resulted in a less present taste, but that's a subjective opinion, not a measurable fact. Taste is incredibly subjective, to the point where even professionals like wine tasters can't demonstrate any consistency under scientific scrutiny. These people are cucks, why do we give them any attention? Other scientific pieces have weighed in on the correct way to make a cup of tea. Some are likely just PR guff, and other wonderfully rigorous, but quite tellingly they often differ significantly in their findings because making tea has a lot more variables than many would think, given that it's such a common behaviour. And that's another point, it's not just the physical and chemical properties of the tea itself that influence our perception of it, but the procedure of making the tea that can have an important role. From the more pretentious end of the scale to the exact opposite, heroin addicts often develop needle fixation, whereby the very act of injecting cause a high-like response, as the act is directly linked to the effects of the drug. Whoa. What? This isn't to suggest that tea is as potent as wine or heroin, definitely not in the case of the latter, but it does emphasise how our preference for something is strongly influenced by the delivery, not just the biochemical effects it has. I guess this isn't settled science, and this will no doubt lead to a civil war. There's also some theory out there that there's a bad toxin that can be released if you squeeze the tea bag at the end, which will lead to your negativity being increased, making you a shitty person. So will you squeeze the tea bag and become the evil man from the toxins? Next week, on episode 2, I'll show you how to collect eggs from your lover. <laughs>